fishing journal with Zyphon. Today we're building a powerful DIY aerator using six hydrain lithium batteries, a DC motor, a motor controller, and a compact 3.6 volt cob lead. Let's start assembly. Starting this build with the first set of three hydrain lithium cells. These are wired in parallel, so they share the same voltage but multiply the current capacity. Each connection is soldered carefully to avoid resistance buildup. Next, I prepare another set of three cells, also in parallel. Same method, positive to positive, negative to negative. This will become the second half of the power system. Now I combine both parallel groups into one big six cell parallel pack. With all six cells sharing the load, the aerator will run cooler, longer, and handle hydrane components like the DC motor without strain. I solder on the charging module next. This lets the entire six cell parallel pack charge safely as one unit. Once everything is connected, I bundle the pack neatly so it's compact and solid. Time to prep the lighting. I solder the wires onto the mini cob lead rated around 3.6 volts. To keep this lead safe when powered from the battery, I'll use four 10 ohm resistors in parallel, giving me roughly 2.5 ohms, perfect to limit the current. After the wiring is done, I connect it briefly to the battery pack for testing. The cob lights up cleanly and evenly, no flicker, no overheating, exactly what we want before installing it. Now I lay out the full setup. The 6-cell battery pack, the DC motor, the adjustable motor controller, the resistor bank, the on-off switch for the LED, and the cob light itself. These parts will come together to form a compact aerator system. The motor provides the airflow, the controller lets me dial RPM, the LED is for night visibility, and the battery pack delivers steady high current for long runtime. With everything prepped and tested, the build is ready. Clean solder, stable wiring, and each component matched to handle the load safely. This is the foundation of a powerful DIY aerator.